This is my 1997 Volkswagen Vento that I bought a couple of weeks ago, as you can see in my previous video. On the way home, it had some gearbox issues, we could say, because it's an automatic box. And in today's video, we're gonna see if we can get this bloody car driving. Let's get into it. Well, I've been having an absolute bloody nightmare with this car. Um, uh, currently got the steering wheel off down here. <clears throat> currently got the steering wheel off here. Yeah, this bloody thing's popped out on the back like it always does when I remove the steering wheel. I don't know. I'll have to fix it. Um, I've not even been able to test drive this car yet. I've replaced all the sensors in the gearbox. Um, I got in the car. I thought, right, I'll go and test drive it. The problem is, because I work full time uh, as a driver, I'm all over the country, right? I go to work in the dark, I come home in the dark, and there's never no light to film anything or fix the car or anything. So the other day, I got back, I replaced the sensors in the dark, and I thought, right, I can finally test drive the car to see if I fix the automatic gearbox if it is just the sensors. Get in the car, turn the ignition on, go to put the headlights on, no headlights. So I've been battling a headlight issue. I've got the steering wheel off. I've replaced the headlight switch. I've replaced the indicator stalk with a new one because apparently that can have, that can affect the headlights. No change. No headlights at all. When I put the headlights onto side lights, the headlights come on when I change the bulb in the front. But then the rear light went off. <laughs> I'm just chasing the electrical gremlins with this car. Right? It's it, it's not. I've been done on this. Right? I've, it, I I'm not stupid. Um, this car's got some freaking issues. Um, so yeah, so today, hopefully, I'm going to take it for a test drive and see if the gearbox is okay. See if it was just sensors and it will change up into third, into fourth gear from third gear with the automatic gearbox. But first of all, I've got to put the steering wheel back on. I've got to fix the steering wheel. I've got to put it all back together. We're going to find out if this gearbox actually works. But first things first, I need to put the car back together. So, um, cut to me when I've done that. Right, check this out. Headlights come on, kind of, with side lights on. I put the headlights on properly. One side light, no, no headlight bulb. And rear light has gone out, but this one's on. What is happening? All I care about today is having some daylight to test if this automatic gearbox works. Headlights and that, I can sort out a different thing, but I just, I just need to test this gearbox. If the gearbox don't work, then what's the point in carrying on with anything else? Hmm, right, let's do it my head in. Okay, it's now run out of bloody petrol. I had to go to petrol station and buy petrol, and get some petrol, <laughs> God's sake. It, I just want to test drive this bloody car. And I've just noticed the front tyre's flat now. Ah, all I'm trying to do is test drive this car to see if I fix the automatic gearbox. The headlights can wait a minute. Just want to test drive it to see if the automatic gearbox changes gear now. That's all I want to do. It's just determined not to let me. <laughs> right, what I've done here is I've checked all the, most of the wiring, I've checked all of these sensors in the automatic gearbox. I've replaced this sensor, oh, I've replaced this sensor and the one under there, okay, with a brand new sensor. I've been told that that might be the cause of it not being able to change gear properly. If it's not that, then it's going to be the valve body, which means completely stripping the bottom of the automatic gearbox apart and changing internal stuff on an automatic gearbox, which I ain't never done before, but I'm up for the... I'm up for doing trying it, but for today, let's just see if I can get this bloody thing driving. Giving up on the headlights for now, completely giving up on the headlights for now. There's no point trying to fix the headlights if the gearbox don't work. So let's see if we can get it started because it's been having problems with that as well. And let's see if we can um, get these gears to work properly. All right, first things first, this camera's really close. First things first, can we get it started? Can we get it started? Let's find out. Oh, come on, baby. Start for me. If I 
Kurz. Oh. Something's happening. Got it started. Let's go for a drive. Hopefully the camera will stay up. Let's see if I can get any gears. Ah, oh, right. Keep going to put my foot on the clutch. Into drive. See what happens. Okay, pulling away in first. Here we go, moment of truth. Round the roundabout. I think it's still in first, maybe second. Let's get on the open road. I think that's second. Engine is struggling with power. Oh my god, I've got no power. Here we go, well, we're off. Uh, no. It changes, but only if I rev the crap out of it. No, no, it won't go into fog. It revs right up and then changes. the floor it and see what happens. One of it just needs some runs up and down the road to get everything working again, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to turn around and do it a few more times. Maybe, actually let me pull in and clear the codes on the gearbox actually. There might be codes. Let's check the codes. Here's my little box, diagnostic. Let's check common systems. Yep. Auto trans. Oh, God's sake. Read fault codes. No fault code stored. Really? Let's try and go for another drive. It's over revving again. To get it to change gear, I have to over rev the crap out of it. <sighs> Fucking hell, what a piece of shit that I bought. What have I bought? Why did I buy this? Put my foot down, see what happens. Keep my foot to the floor. It's not even changing gear. Oh, there we go. It took me revving it off the red line to change gear then. Uh, maybe I just need to go up and down through the gears. Maybe they clutch packs or maybe they've been sat for a while. Maybe, may, I don't know. I'm just gonna drive up and down, up and down, up and down. See what happens. Let's leave it in drive and just see. Oh no, I've just, oh shit. Oh no, we've just, we've just broke down. We've just broken down on a roundabout. Shit. We just broke down on the roundabout. Oh no, oh no. Alright, it changed from first to second then. Will it change up to the next gear by itself about revving its nuts off? No. No, no it won't. No. There is no way in hell this car worked perfectly and drove fine. Not a chance. Calling bullshit, I'm sorry. I'm calling bullshit, I'm sorry. Oh, don't you break down. I'm on the middle of a bloody dual carriageway. No, 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 no. Let's just get you home now. Let's just get you home now, please. Let's please just get me home now, please. Oh, not here. Not here. Oh, my God. Okay, let's just get you home. Let's just get you home. Please get me home. Oh, my God. Please, let's just get me home. No, not here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my god! Uh, put it in third. Let's just drive it over in third. 
Oh no, oh no, don't break down, don't break down. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Why are you doing that? Oh no, please. Oh, I want to get home now. I'm out in the chalk carriageway, I just want to get home. Oh shit. Just going to look into manual swapping. Yeah. I think that's maybe on the cards. Or cutting my losses on this and just seeing what I can get for it because it's not what I thought it was. I got stitched up, blatantly stitched up here. There's no way in hell this car drove normally. There's no way. Not a chance. Headlights don't work, gearbox doesn't work. Fucked. Oh, traffic lights don't conk out. Don't conk out. Oh my god, don't conk out. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Don't do it. Oh, shit. The engine's just spluttering. No power at all. It's just, every now and again, it wants to die. But that's fine. The engine's, un I, I can deal with. That's probably spark plugs. It's just, you know, it's just coil pack, something simple. But automatic gearbox, that's the biggest problem here. The headlights aren't even that much of a problem. I can figure that out. I'll sit, I'll spend hours if I have to figuring out some wiring. But this gearbox, no. Time to start researching manual gearbox swaps. I was so hoping that it would just be the sensors. I was so hoping. I don't, I don't know what to say now. Let's put all my time, let's put all my effort back into the T4 then. And this, this is going to go in the workshop and be a bloody, this is going to be a long, a long project, this one. Um, a very boring long project, just, try, just, just trying to make it work. Oh, so gutted. So gutted. I'm so disappointed. Well, it wasn't a great video this week, people. It was just me trying to figure out if I can get this working, it's been night time every time I've been trying to get work on this video, this vehicle before. Getting home from work late, because you know, work not long hours, but just it's just dark all the time. <sighs> I'm so gutted. I so got done on this vehicle, I swear to God. There's, there's no way this drove normally. That that gearbox issue is not something that just suddenly happened. There's no way. Not a chance in hell. So do I waste money and time trying to fix an automatic gearbox that won't change up without revving its tits off? Or do I just see how difficult it is to do a manual gearbox swap? I think I need to start researching anyway, people. You know what? I would, there was going to be a lot more content this weekend on this vehicle. There was. But you know what? I can't be asked. It can fuck off. That's the mood I'm in right now. I really thought that was going to sort it. Fucking hell. Anyway, people. Lots of content coming on the T4 very soon. Maybe even this weekend. This might be video one of two. Because I do have some sidebars and stuff that I want to get on my T4. Some really cool ones, actually. Really cool ones. Um, and the uh, T4 is going in on Monday for a new clutch. Because the release bearings make loads of noise. So that's going to be my new daily. Um, so yeah. Anyway, peeps, see you in the next one. Sometimes life just fucks you, doesn't it? Right in the bum. <laughs>